<laughs> it's good. I like this mustache. Hi, my name is Lord. My name is Laura Sinell, and today we're talking about Gordon Cooper. The year is 1963. Gordon Cooper, he's this military test pilot from Oklahoma. NASA had just begun, and so he was one of seven astronauts chosen for Project Mercury. Also really chill. He was like, please call me Gordo. Don't call me Gordon. I'm not that official. Right? And so all these space missions go off without a hitch, and NASA's like, we've done really well. Congrats, NASA. And they're patting themselves on the back. And Gordo's like, guys, I totally get it. Like, that's really cool. Like, pats on the back. But if you want to send a man to the moon, you should maybe see if someone could be in space for, I don't know, 24 hours. And NASA's like, ugh, yeah, I guess, Gus. Yeah, sure, Gus. Gordo. Oh, shit. Sorry, I'm in there. It's OK. All right. You're fine. So Gordo goes on the launch pad. NASA would be like, hey, just like really quick, like don't touch anything. NASA would completely control everything. It was so bad that the astronauts felt like um, spam in a can <laughs> is what they referred to themselves as. So anyway, he launches into space, and it's like three, two, one, blast off. <laughs> Are you shooting that? OK, good. He gets up into space, and everything's cool. He's like, I'm orbiting the Earth. Oh, I'm sorry. We're... You can swear. No, my mom, I try not. I'm not going to try not to swear. So he's in space. He sends back the first TV images of a human back to Earth. He has a little powdered roast beef dinner. He's just having a bowl. So he takes a nap. The first guy to ever sleep in space. He wakes up and he's like, it's good to be Gordo. And then he's like, oh, no, it's not. Because beep, beep. Oh, I have no stabilization unit. Everyone on Mission Control is freaking out. They're like, oh, god. This doesn't look good. And Gus Grissom is like, bro, I love you. I'm going to tell your wife you're a hero. Gordo's like, no, it's happened. I'm going to take control over the spaceship. Gus is like, you're about to do something none that no one has ever done before. And Gordo's like, yeah, no, I know. So just shut the f up, Gus. I've got control. And he starts to take over manual control. But at that moment, he loses radio signal with Gus Grissom. And so he gets a radio signal over to his friend John Glenn, who's on the recovery boat over in Japan. And he's like, John Glenn, hey, it's me, Gordo. Um, I have absolutely no power in my spacecraft, and I just want to get back home because I'm a really chill guy. It's me, Gordo. And he's like, OK, here's what we're going to do. And so together, they go through this checklist. Uh, put this thing up like press this button. There's all these things he needs to do. But then Gorda's like, oh, sh beep. And his carbon dioxide meter's going off. And it's like, beep, beep, you're f***ing. And he's like, oh my god, you're right. I'm totally f***ing f***ed. But I, no, but he's chiller than that. No, hold on. He's way calmer than that. John Glenn, look. My carbon dioxide meter's going off, and uh, it's like 100 degrees in my cabin. Which means he's f dying, but he's not being a Debbie Downer about it. And he's like, I need to get to Earth. But like, manual reentry had never been done before. So if he enters Earth's atmosphere too steep, he's going to blow up. So he says, OK, there's the Big Dipper, there's the Little Dipper, Gemini. He draws an axis on the window and uses the constellations as his constant. And he says, this is going to be my angle at which I can enter Earth's atmosphere, which I think is pretty incredible. So John Glenn is like, OK, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Gordo's like, let's just like do it. I'm ready. So he fires uh, uh, What does this mean? <laughs> What's it called when there's fire coming out of stuff? <laughs> when when it's like a fire. <sighs> he fires the rockets. <laughs> he 
he had a five dollar wristwatch, and that's what he used to figure out how long to fire his rockets. Gordo is like, I'm entering Earth's atmosphere. F***ing bravo to me. Wait. Oh. <laughs> and he splashes down, and he has the most accurate splashdown ever in NASA history. He's like so chill. He's like, hey guys, I made a, I'm not surprised. It's me, Gordo. Big whoop. Gordo changed the game. Great. He had a $5 wristwatch.